Today I want to talk about something I discovered after working with several clients who all shared the same obstacle, even though it wasn't super clear what the obstacle was. And the obstacle that I'm talking about is that they were afraid to quit their job. So I was working with one person and our goal obviously was to get them a new job. And we had an offer and we had negotiated the offer and I was really excited for them to accept. And all of a sudden things kind of came to a screeching halt for them. And they got really nervous and apprehensive and started second guessing themselves. So I've noticed this now as a pattern that really, even though it's not the first thing that comes up for people that they're afraid to quit, it's something that really comes up throughout the job search process. And I think the reason I want to talk about it is because I think it holds people back even if they're not talking about it. I think people are afraid to leave their teams where even if our coworkers are annoying, we at least know who they are already and we know what to expect. We're afraid to leave the comfort of a job that we know already. We're, we might think we're not ready for the next level. And uh, maybe you don't want to have the really difficult conversation of actually quitting with a boss, whether it's a boss that you like or a boss that you don't like. So today I want to talk about why it's so important that we kind of address this because it does hold people back. It's the kind of thing where, you know, when I ask people to imagine themselves in a new job, they get really excited. But along the way, when we lose sight of, of the process, which certainly involves quitting for most people, um, I think it's the kind of negative energy that really takes takes away from the steps that we need to complete so that we can actually realize it. So I think it's negative energy. We don't want to bring it into our job search. So I want to talk proactively about quitting and job transitions today. So the first thing I want to say is that quitting is totally normal. It might not feel normal to you for a whole range of reasons. Maybe you're a young professional and you haven't quit yet. Maybe you have been in the same job for a really long time. But in the scope of the working world, people quit all the time. It's as normal as starting a new job. It's like taking sick time. It's like taking vacation time. It's part of the work process. And you're going to probably have to quit another job. So it's good to just take, um, take the reminder that transitioning from one job to another is normal. It's stressful, but it's normal. It's also really important that you know that when you have a job offer, that there's there's an expectation on the other side of that offer that there will be a learning curve. So if you're feeling apprehensive, like you've been looking for an opportunity to take the next step and suddenly you're feeling like, oh, can I really do this? My advice would be to, to trust the job offer. Now, you can certainly assess whether you want to do it um, for a variety of reasons, but if you're starting to doubt yourself, um, you know, you can always have a follow-up conversation with the people um, who made the offer and talk more about maybe the pieces that are making you nervous, ask about the training and that sort of thing. Um, but people know that when you leave one job for another, even if it's in the same organization, you've got to get used to a new team, you've got to get used to maybe new systems and new processes. Um, so it's, it, it is expected when you accept a job on the other side that they're going to have to teach you something things. That's normal too. It's also, um, it's normal for you, for you to be moving into a role that has more responsibility than you've had previously. So don't be, um, you don't have to feel intimidated or unprepared. Everyone has to make a kind of transition like that at one point or another. Also, it's really important that you know that quitting doesn't mean the end of relationships that are really working for you in your work situation. So it's a great opportunity for you to reconnect as you're leaving, to, to get people's personal contact information, to send them quarterly emails, to connect with them over coffee, like really maintain those relationships because that is part of your professional network now. So just because you're leaving and exploring new things, it doesn't mean you have to stop being friends with the people that you actually like at work. You can continue to see each other. And you deserve a challenging and interesting opportunity. That's the other piece, is you deserve to be challenged. It's easy to want to be challenged when you're bored at work and then suddenly the opportunity to actually learn something new and be fully engaged in a, in a new job can feel really intimidating, even if that's exactly what we want. But remember, that's why you started the job search process to begin with. So hopefully these tips will make you less afraid of quitting. And now that um, wherever you are in your job search, hopefully you can really assess like how you feel about having that conversation and making that transition and use the steps accordingly. All right, thanks so much. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.